Hello everyone and welcome back to Amnesia. Still creepy. Ooh. Achievement unlocked. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. Let's peek around corners. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. We got a little fuel. Try not to waste too much of it. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he'd never again see the old tailor bar bar bar. Well, excuse me. Run, old shift. All right. Ooh. Let's put that away for a minute. Hello? Anybody here? Guess not. Whoa. All right. Leave me alone. I guess it's like birds. Whoa. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact... It lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay. Don't want to go that way right now. Even though the blood's leading there. Don't want to deal with it. I'm in denial. Let me in there. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Okay. I have a chair now. Don't mess with me. Ugh. Oh. Guess I can't go that way. Can I take you? That sounds creepy and biggie. Gonna stomp on you. Organ music. Mm, let's go upstairs first. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go down here. Hopefully, that was the right area to go to. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish rhubarb. voices really don't want to go down there
Okay. Why don't I just... Okay, whatever. I'm imagine. Alrighty, hearing footsteps everywhere. Okay. Leave me alone. There should be more Kubrak. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Like the Sherman films. You can pause it if you want to read this. Okay. So we need to gather stuff, I guess, and make something. And it wouldn't be anything in this room, I'm guessing. This. Third attempt at producing a former compound experiment was unsuccessful. Solution, but I'm losing hope. And I'm guessing notes. Daniel, chemical relocation earlier. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of footsteps. Okay, so we need to come back here, but I gotta go find stuff first, and I'm guessing I'm probably gonna run into something soon. Been hearing lots of footsteps upstairs. Back to the main area. Oh, I felt the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning. Something blur. Hazel remind hidden. Fear punished. Other words were in there. Okay. I'm gonna have to go downstairs. Hey, Levy. Okay. There's signs. Hey. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. Find the key to cellar. Evidence the wine cellar reveals. Okay, I gotta go find a key somewhere, and I'm betting it's upstairs. Next to some creepy thing. Can't go that way. I didn't say anything. I really hope I'm going in the right direction because no clue what I'm doing. No clue. Oh, goody. Uh, I hear something. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. 
How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay. I know it's like supposed to be like a. I feel like a, just a hole in the ceiling or something. It almost sounds like buzzing, but at the same time, it almost sounds like a bunch of guys going. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Either way, it's creepy. Okay. Let's close you two. Get out of the way. You went fine. Better? Getting all wobbly there with his vision. Hairway, voltage. It's all three years. Okay. Nah. You know, if you just let some light in, it would probably be a lot nicer. Okay, so that was the room there. What the heck was that? Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh, way to end that journal. I don't like books. Actually, I do, but I want to throw them around a little bit. I probably don't have much stuff left, so we're going to save the lantern. 
And we'll kind of clear that out. Alright, so... That's, uh... Done a little exploring up here. Heard some creepy stuff. I think we're gonna pause it right here, right now. We'll pick back up when we get back. Until then, see you next time.